okay, I'm an ex-heroin user and uh, been clean three years. So when you, you know, in, I don't know, in society again, sort of trying to find a place in it and a purpose and yeah, make a foundation for a good life in the future. That's what Sea Sanctuary is helping me with. So my name is Paul Lawton and I'm uh, the skipper on the Sea Sanctuary trips. And so my role is to take the boat out with the clients on it and make sure they enjoy the sailing, uh, teach them about sailing and then to act as their sort of general uh, chaperone on the boats. And so I'm with them 24 hours a day and we basically bond during the week and, and you know, have a lot of fun together. I'm Bob Clements. I'm from St. Oslo, College Green. Well, come down to do some sailing for the week. We have quite a sort of thorough assessment process that we try to keep informal, but we are also covering all the bases about the history of mental health issues and medical health. Most of the people who come on our trips start off on a Monday feeling quite anxious and nervous. This is a bad day for me because I'm on a bit of a, yeah. When you first come here, you make ground rules, just rules that everyone wants to, each other to adhere to, like, you know, being respectful and just simple things like that. So we start that right at the beginning about trying to pinpoint where people are by using a number of questionnaires and, and looking at sort of expectations for the week. And that gives us a base of where people are with their mental health and well-being. But I wish I knew what I wanted, you know. I can't talk about that. Or we take a second picture at the end of the week and then further on. It really did boost up the confidence and made me feel a lot better. A lot better in myself. At the beginning of Tuesday, normally everybody settled in uh, and they're just really keen to do more sailing and they bonded and all of that anxiety has is, is probably gone away by then. We do um, try throughout the week for everybody to helm, so to, for everybody to steer the ship, which is a real great practical way of people feeling in control of something that they're doing. It's really great. I really, really love it. And by the end of the week, um, they don't want to leave. And we normally find people who want to go and do more sailing and want to go further. And uh, then their biggest concern becomes about going home. You can leave here with a bit of optimism and uh, knowing that you're going to cope better. I really feel quite confident about what I'm going to do in the next few weeks. On Thursday, we went out and uh, beyond the lighthouse into the open English Channel and got people wet and then got them shrieking with joy and all that kind of stuff. They are really genuine people, they really care and they really do show an interest in what they're doing. Uh, one of the things that was quite humbling was that actually you let me sit here and you didn't listen to what you're saying because it's all very personal stuff to you and, uh, and also I suppose your courage as well was there something else that made me really think. I'm quite feeling a bit emotional at the moment actually because it sort of hits me these things. We give out certificates to people to say what an achievement it's been and some kind of exit material which is about yeah how to continue with their journey. Sea Sanctuary is unique as far as I can tell in the sense that they have a very strong education program as the, the backbone and the sailing is the platform for the delivery of that program. So the boats are the magic, um, but the real quality of the program is the education. And I haven't found any other programs like that. It all started because I really love being out on the water. And what it means is that people come and they're enticed in by the sailing, um, but the quality of the therapy and the education program is what they leave with. Confidence to, and the, to really think, believe that we can make it happen. That's come from being on this trip. What are they going to do differently tomorrow morning than they did the day before they came on the trip? That's the challenge for them. It'd be nice if we, if we went again to be able to plot a course and end up somewhere else and we'd have to get through the weather, whatever.